Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I did this floral Aztec bull skull from Death by Design Molds. We're going to start by mixing our beads with our color. I'm going to put about six scoops of beads in this jar. I just use an old um, tablespoon measuring spoon that I found in my kitchen drawer. Um, all of my beads come from E Squared Scent Supplies and there will be a discount code for you guys in the description. This mica is from Etsy. Um, I'll link it to. It's from a shop called Druids, I believe. Um, so just mix that in, shake, shake, shake. And I'm going to double bake this mold because of all of the detail that's in there. So I'm going to put a couple of scoops in the bottom and spread that out. And then we're going to pack that down really good and make sure you get it all in those little crevices. And then this will go in the oven for about 10 minutes or until it's all melted. Okay, once that comes out of the oven after your 10 minutes is up, I take this silicone makeup brush or spatula and pack those beads in really good. You want to make sure that all of those little nooks and crannies are filled in with those melted beads. And the, this layer, it doesn't matter if you... Um, over bake them. That's what you want because you want your design to be very detailed and make sure you get all of those in there. So after that, then you're going to pour the rest of your beads on and spread those out. I have this little mica spoon that I got from ccdiy.com. Okay, once I have all of those in and spread out, I like to take this um, foam paintbrush. It's like a dotting paintbrush. You can buy them at Walmart. And I just like to pack those down really good, pick up all the little beads that I dropped. And then this is going to go back in the oven at 345 for about 8 to 12 minutes, depending on how long it takes for it to melt. I like to tap on my beads just a little and if they lift then that means they're not done. So now I'm going to take my silicone spatula again and press all of those beads down. We want to make sure that all of the beads are melted in the middle and sticking together. You don't want it um, to have loose beads on the inside. Okay, and now we're going to get ready to paint. I first like to cut off all of those little spiky bits. I don't like I don't think it looks finished until everything is nice and smooth. So I just take these Fisker scissors that I got at Hobby Lobby and I'll just cut all of those little spikies off. And then I'm going to take these two uh, makeup brushes. They're they have really short um, stiff bristles, my pop of color paints, and my slick paint. I'm going to take the hot pink from pop of color and I'm just going to fill in all of the flowers on my bull skull. Um, you don't have to be super precise and you can be even a little messy because we're going to outline all of those flowers so I just take that brush and kind of tap it in, in all of those little um, rose petals.
Next, I'm going to take the color Pine Needle from Pop of Color. I really like these paints because they're um, like a chalk finish, so they don't get sticky um, or like to stick to the bags like the slick paint can sometimes do. But they're just really good for these freshies because it sticks really well to them and doesn't peel off. So I'm just going to put this in where the little leaves are supposed to be. And once again, you don't have to be super clean and precise since we are going to outline all of those. Okay, and finally, um, to fill in all of the Aztec detailing, I'm going to use the Tulip Slick Paint. I just got this from Walmart. I like how this dries flat. It's not puffy like puff paint. Um, it can stick to your bag sometimes, so just be very mindful about putting too much on there because it can it can get stuck and peel off. I haven't had any issues when I do a very thin coat um, with this type of paint. So we're just going to fill in all of the lines so that you can see all of that really cool detail. how cool that looks. Okay, on this one, I did not put a nail in. I used to add nails to all of my freshies before I baked them, but I have started using this little Dremel tool. It's by Ryobi, and it's battery powered. You don't have to plug it in or anything. And then I just drill a hole in there where I want the string to go. And then I'll move that to the side. I just use this um, hemp cord that I bought from Walmart. You can use elastic or fold over elastic or any type of string that you would like to use. This is just what I had on hand. Um, I make my length about 12 to 14 inches. I double it over and then thread it through just like that. And then um, I use polypropylene bags. I know that there's a lot of different bags out there. These are what I have always used. They keep the scent in. I have packaged freshies up and put them away for a year. And they have still been just as strong as the day I put them in their packaging. So I like to do a little warning label on the back. And then a label on the front with a scent. This one is Drunken Pumpkin. And there it is. Look how beautiful all of the paint looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me do next. And also don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Bye!